How's it going, everyone? It's Rostar1324. Today we're going to play a game called Overboard. Um, it has it came out like several years ago, but I just recently discovered this game existed through YouTube recommendations. And I only saw like, I think, three people playing the game. And I thought that was a crime because this game is a lot of fun. I've played it for several hours, got a few endings, and I just want to show off like one of my favorite and names to get. Um, it's available on um, several apps, on the App Store, and then also on Nintendo Switch and Steam. Um, I got it from the Android App Store for only like six bucks, and it's on Switch and Steam for $15. So, I mean, hashtag not sponsored, but definitely pick up this game if you like it, because it's a lot of fun. It's um, instead of a whodunit, we are the person who did done it, so we are trying to cover up the murder, and we're going to see how we do that in just a bit. <laughs> I'm not going to read this. And also in this game, um, the choices highlighted in green are the ones that you chose last time you played. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the upper deck. That's this is the location of the murder, by the way. And it's important to get up here as soon as possible because while we were killing our husband, our earring fell, our diamond earring fell in the deck uh, planks. And if someone, if we didn't get up here within those first few minutes. Um, in-game minutes, I mean, then someone else was going to find it and then they would know that we were up here because apparently we're the only one in this whole ship that wears diamond earrings. And then the next thing that's important to get pretty quickly are the sleeping tablets. See, this game takes place in the 1930s? And having medication like this was um, not looked about, looked upon in a good light. So if someone knew that we had this, they would immediately think that we're crazy. So we're going to take this, leave the bathroom. Okay, and then another thing that I like to go to early is the smoking room. Our husband's name is Malcolm, by the way, and he was here last night, not um, like when he was gambling with some friends in here, and he left his jacket, and there's some stuff in his jacket that would be useful with what we're about to do next. Let me take this. Let me take this. And it doesn't matter. I don't care where the jacket goes to me. I don't think there's any significance to taking it. Um, okay, now going up here also be important. Commander Anders.
Um, now it's a good idea to make sure Captain Anders is on your side because he did witness the murder. He was there last night and unless Captain Anders has a reason to lie for you or hide the fact that he saw you killing your husband last night, then he's gonna rat you out basically. Now this lady is Clarissa, and as you'll see through the dialogue and through investigating her room, she is the mistress our husband was having an affair with. Now, to my knowledge, um, regardless of what I picked um, for do it for Malcolm, but whatever of those three options you pick, as long as the next option you hide, I think she's going to leave the room. So we're going to use this key that she gave Malcolm. And we're going to put the sleeping pills on her night nightstand, so that way when her room is investigated, they will think she's crazy. And we're going to put Malcolm's wallet there, because that's his, so it proves that they were with each other. I haven't figured out if taking this book um, does anything. So, I don't know, maybe in a future video we'll see that option. <laughs> this music is so funny. Um, if you wanted to steal um, his key, this would be a wonderful time to do that. You would get out of bed, but... Um, I don't need his key for this ending. They give you so many options to grab his key, but I don't need his key. <laughs> okay, so doing all of that helps him come to your side. Um, I just really did something out of order, but let me see if I could still 
get the same ending I was going for. Okay, I don't think she's coming out. I was trying to show her the love poem. That's okay. <laughs> I wonder what this voice is supposed to sound like. to try. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this here. So she's not gonna. Let me see if I can go. Down. She went back to sleep already? Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the restaurant. I'm pretty sure at 1500 hours, they, um, they do like the emergency meeting. Oh, I've never seen this option.
<laughs> and she's drinking. Hmm, these are new options. Hmm, this is uncharted water for me. Talking about the side effects. Erratic emotional behavior. <laughs> uh, and then she thinks she saw saw this girl. The victim's wallet. <laughs> An emotional crackpot. And Anders is lying for him. So I framed her. Nice. So oh, we did it. We blamed the murder on the affair partner and we managed to get life insurance money and apparently a very sexy um, captain. So this is almost perfect. Um, in the most perfect endings, you would have check marks on all three: freedom, life insurance, and no loose ends. Um, in order to get no loose ends, you would have to do something about um, was it Mrs. V or not Mrs. V? Uh, Mrs. H, I think. Um, through multiple playthroughs, you'll see that 
she's a blackmailer and she's blackmailing people um since we didn't do anything about her she is blackmailing us because apparently she knows that we killed her husband even though she didn't say anything kind of a little confused about that because um when you don't get your diamond earring she insists that it's you who killed him so she, clearly she saw saw you whatever i don't know but this is a pretty good ending this isn't my favorite one i was trying to go for another one i'll probably go for that one in the next um episode because i feel like i would want to make multiple of these this game is a lot of fun so i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know what you think if you have played this game or not and i'll see you later